What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to complete the last two achievements inside the Darkening of Tristram event, which is the Protector of Tristram, where we have to kill all 40 unique monsters inside the labyrinth, as well as thank goodness you have returned, which is killing the four bosses inside of the event. You can see I still have a couple I need to complete there, as well as a lot of monsters to complete here. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how to do this. Now, I will say you want to be using your fastest build, okay? That is the biggest tip of this whole video. You want to use your fastest build to get through the labyrinth as quickly as possible. Now, I will say this. It doesn't matter what difficulty you are on, so go with whatever feels most comfortable. I'm going to be doing T16, and I'm going to be rocking the uh, multi-shot strafe build because this is just going to be the fastest going through all of that. So this is the build that I'm going to be using, but you use whatever build is fastest for you, you know, whether it's Magic Missile Wizard, whether it's Monk, whether it's, you know, um, you could even use the, the uh, Chidori speed build with the, uh, you know, the dagger using the Shadow Mantle build, whatever you want. You need to have the fastest build, or more importantly, you should use the Crusader build video that we have. Use the Seder build, the Thor build, that is an absolute banger on this map. But for this purpose, we are gonna be using the multi-blaster. Now, second, I am gonna put up on the screen, guys, right now. This is a graph, shout out to Facefoot for um, completing this, this graph to kind of help you guys out. This is gonna show you where every monster is at on the chart, but at which floor they are at. So as you're completing these, use this graph, screenshot it, guys, copy it, whatever you need to do. So that way you can see where these monsters are. So after you've done, you know, a couple run-throughs of each level, if you've missed a couple, you can go back and find out. Like the red, the red vex is at an altar. So if you have to go find the altar, or if you need to kill, you know, the the black jade at another altar, or if you need to kill uh, ooze drool on floor nine and you just missed him. This graph is amazing. You'll be able to go back and just go find the last bit of monsters. So shout out to Facebook for the guys over at Maxwell for providing the exact floors where these monsters are. So now that we have that out of the way, guys, what you're going to want to do is to find the labyrinth again. If you don't know, you're going to be in Act 1 in Tristram. You're going to go to the Old Ruins, which is the Darkening of Tristram event. We're going to go here, and what we're going to be looking for is we're going to go down south here. We're going to grab this portal right here. Boom, we go retro style, and then we're going to go all the way up here to get into the labyrinth, and we're going to start our quest. There is nothing to this, guys. There's nothing special that you have to do, as far as I know. All you're going to do is go floor by floor, and I recommend doing full clears, okay? Full clears of absolutely everything, and as you're clearing it, you want to do everything that you find. If you find altars, if you find certain things on these floors, do them. That way you know that you're clearing each floor 100% so that way you do not miss absolutely anything. Cover it all. It's kind of like old school. You know, when you used to, you know, clear every single thing in these kind of dungeon callers or RPGs, you know, and you wouldn't miss out on anything because there's a lot of monsters that have altars and uh, things that you're going to be able to do. So look at that. So we clear level one. There's nothing here, right? But on the grid, there's no monsters on level four, on level uh, one. The earliest that it starts is on level two and then going up from there. So level one doesn't have anything. So you're starting at level two and you just want to absolutely cover everything. I don't care what you're doing. See, we just had a special monster. I don't even know if I killed him or not. Who's that? Rockfest the Hungry. I just killed Rockfest the Hungry. So let's look up here. Rockfest the Hungry. I'm going to pull the grid up one more time. Rockfest the Hungry. Is he on here? Rockfest the Hungry. Rockfest the Hungry 4-2. Right there on floor two, I'm gonna pull up my uh, achievement here. Rockfest the Hungry is complete. Boom, we have it. And you can reference that grid through the whole thing. Now, as I mentioned, we don't even have close to this um, level two cleared, but we have a dark passage here. You wanna make sure that you go in and just do everything. Anytime you see one of these, there's cool little uh, you know treasure chests and stuff that you can find, but you want to make sure that you clear absolutely everything because even though Rockfest is on floor two. That doesn't mean that he's not in one of these other, you know, secret little passageways or something like that. It, it's similar to the altars for some of these monsters. So once we do that, we're done. And you're going to go floor by floor, guys, and you complete everything. Now, I will say that you're going to, you may miss some of these. So definitely reference the grid and go back. But as far as the thank goodness you have returned killing our full, all four bosses, 
If you just clear every level and go through all the levels of the labyrinth, you're going to kill every single boss. You're just gonna kill them. There's no way that you can miss them as long as you're clearing everything. And that is gonna give you the last two achievements for this special event, which is just absolutely fantastic, guys. So for the bosses, you're gonna find them. The butcher is gonna be on floor two and the skeleton is gonna be on floor three. The butcher is typically found in one of these rooms here with you know all the butcher blood everywhere. So as soon as you pop into one of these rooms, you can see on the map, the butcher will appear and we'll be able to kill him. Let's just knock him out real quick, boom. And as I said, make sure you pick up his transmog that he drops. It's his butcher transmog, which is just super, super cool. So see, here we go, King Leoric's tomb. This is gonna be where the Skeleton King is. We're gonna go ahead and go in here and kill him. It's pretty simple, guys. Stone Vault. Skeleton King's around here somewhere, I believe. Get all these little skeletons. Yep, they're all dead. He should be up here to the... Oh, nope. He's not in here. There he is. He's waiting for him to pop up. Boom. Thank goodness you have returned. We got the banner reward sigil for killing all four major bosses inside of the Darkening of Tristram event. It's absolutely fantastic. Unlike the Butcher, the Skeleton King doesn't drop any um, transmogs, but that's okay. Then the Dark Lord. Boom. Dark Lord is dead. And that is it, guys. And you get the red soul shard for killing him. Make sure you keep this red soul shard. It is a very rare item, okay? This is the only way to get it as far as I know more recently. But uh, through this event, this is the only way to get it. Now, after killing the Dark Lord, you can see I still have a couple monsters here left to do. Now, you are going to have to go back out and then go back in. To get some of these because sometimes they don't spawn on a level so make sure after you've gone one through like through one full time see what you're missing and then just go to those levels and you'll be able to finish them out if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to drop a like if it has helped you comment below and let me know what monsters you have left inside of the labyrinth for the darkening of tristram event and as always stay gaming i'll catch everybody in the next one peace